Hello, everybody. Greg Johnson coming to you from a Starbucks on 1220. Man, I wasn't even planning to come in here, and then I realized it was literally 1220, and so I took one of their venti cups with their 12 tall cup and decided to have fun with that. Isn't that cool? Well, today we're all looking at Romans chapter 12, man, and I've been having a blast putting it in my Give God 12 journal and then checking that out here in Scripture. And the verse that I really thought we could focus on today is that one that is so familiar. It's a famous one. It says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Well, that's very cool. And so I came over here and I wrote it out again just to start this thing off. That confession that I'm so pumped about during these 12 days. And that's Psalm 118, 24. This is the very day God acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Two kinds of days. The day that's just a 24-hour period. And then the day that God did something that he didn't do the day before. And he's not going to do the day after. We need to be open to those days when God shows himself strong. And I want you to know during these 12 days of giving God 12, you can expect that kind of a day to take place during this time or because of this time, later in time. So just have a blast with it, guys. And then here we go. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. Well, I did a little bit of a conformed there in the groovy 70s style again. And yep, that is the word conformed. And we do not want the world to put us in their mold. No way. But be transformed. There's a heart that's transformed by the renewing of your mind. God wants us to renew our mind. And boy, just by doing what we're doing right now with Give God 12, we are literally renewing our mind. We're getting a brainwash, so to speak. <laughs> our brains will be clean. Well, it comes out in different translations. I love what it says in the Message Bible. And so here is what I want you to do. God helping you take your life. You're sleeping and eating, going to work, going to school maybe, and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Don't be so well adjusted. Hard to read here. Adjusted to your culture that you fit in without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You will be char changed from the inside out. Come on, everybody. Let's say it. Inside out. That's how God does stuff. He does it from the inside out. So, again, on 1220, I gave God 12 and a little bit more because it's so much fun to give God the time of our lives. Because when we give Him the time of our lives, everybody finish it. He gives us the time of our lives.